Hey, this is Chris. Hope you're doing all right. In this video, we're going to go over using Lambda test to automate your Cypress testing. So I've created a couple of videos uh, going over some, some basic Cypress testing. But one benefit of using a tool like Lambda test is that you are able to deploy your tests and have those tests run on servers in the cloud. So you don't have to worry about wasting your system's resources locally or, or wasting your time kind of sitting at your computer uh, watching the test run, especially if you've got a slower machine or things like that. Uh, with Lambda Test, you can deploy your tests uh, to their platform. Um, you can use their dashboard if you're uh, wanting to follow along, but it gives you some pretty cool reports uh, afterwards uh, once all the tests are finished. So we're going to go over that. You can check out their kind of overview they just introduced uh, Cypress to their platform. And so we'll go over some basics, getting it set up and, and walk you through um, getting you set up on your dashboard. Also uh, pointing out that they do have a pretty solid uh, free tier. So if you look at their pricing, you can see that. So with that said, we are gonna go ahead and clone the, um, the sample repo. So this includes uh, pretty much anything that you could run in Cypress. So if you grab the link from below and then do git clone and paste it in, and then we'll change directories into that. I'm gonna open it up in a new VS Code window. And then I'm gonna run npm install to install all of the dependencies. All right, so now that that's finished up, I'm going to clear the terminal, and we're going to install the uh, CLI for Lambda Test Cypress. So we can do npm install dash g for global Lambda Test dash Cypress dash CLI. Cool, that was a bit more quick, and now we're going to create our config file using that CLI that we just installed. So if we run lambda test cypress init, it's going to create this lambda test config file for us, which is here. And so we'll get to the username and access key here in a minute. Um, but basically, you can set up all your configurations. So you can run in multiple browsers with different versions. So you can see it takes an array of browsers. The browsers take an array of versions. So if you have different um, testing needs, you can run on Chrome, Firefox, and Edge. Um, and then we've got different run settings down here. Uh, we can change this build name to Test Kitchen Sync or whatever you want to call it if you've got different tests. Um, that you're running, then you might want to name them differently. Um, Cypress.json, so we have that file already created, so that's fine. And tunnel settings are for, uh, if you check those out, that's for if you want to run these tests locally. Um, I uh, think one of the, the big benefits is uh, running this in the cloud, so we're going to leave these, these settings alone for now. Um, so if we want to run this test, we need to grab our username and our access key. So if you haven't yet created an account on Lambda test, uh, you can go ahead and do start free testing or if you're or if you logged in or uh, sorry, if you've created an account, you can log in. And then once you've logged in, you'll get taken to your Lambda test dashboard. So I've run a couple of tests here, just kind of messing around a little bit. Um, but what you're going to do to grab your username and key is if you go to your profile, you can see your username here and then your access token. So I'll copy the access token because that one's going to be harder to memorize than my username. Flipping back over to the config file, my username chris.a.silva, and then the access key. Okay, next step. Inside of this current 
uh, directory. We have a Cypress directory that gets, uh, it's kind of the standard install with the example integration tests. So we need to update our path in this run settings object. So we're in the top level directory in this Lambda test config JSON file. In that same directory, we're going to go into Cypress, into integration, and then examples. And then we'll run anything with a, a, a spec.js extension. So if you've got uh, your own sort of tests that are not using this uh, Cypress example, just make sure the path to your tests um, is set correctly. So now that that's all set up, we should be able to run Lambda test Cypress run. And it'll give us uh, a little bit of logging. And then it shows us that it's archived and uploaded all of these tests successfully. And then it tells us to check our dashboard. So if we click in this, we can see that now our tests are running and it gives us a, kind of a test by test view of each of those tests in our integration testing suite. So ultimately what will happen is it'll run through all of these tests for us and then it'll give us the logs of each of those tests telling us whether or not they're passing or failing. And then as well, if you have video enabled, if you have video set to true in your Cypress JSON file, you'll actually also be able to follow along uh, with like a little live stream, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna pause here uh, and come back once uh, we get some of this uh, reporting data back and we can take a look at that. Cool, so it looks like this traversal.spec.js file is done. It looks like it took about a minute. And so we have our just our general summary. Like I said, if you had video enabled, you could watch along. In the logs, I can see that all of these tests are passing. It gives us the results. Uh, so it logs out all of that Cypress information for us. And the nice thing is, again, all of this is running in the cloud. So you could, uh, you could run Lambda test Cypress run, send this off to the cloud, and then continue doing your own thing if you've got other things that are working on. So you don't have to worry about tests running locally, taking up resources on your machine. You can kind of set it and forget it, and then come back to this really nice dashboard and see all of that information uh, laid out here nicely for you. So Lambda test is a pretty cool option if you're looking to free up your resources locally and get some really good detailed analytics on your testing situation. So definitely check it out, play around with it. As always, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks for following along and I will see you next time.